Hello everyone, we're going to do a bit more rich monkey cooking. We're going to do, well I'm going to do, not we're, because Lee's been shouting at me because I won't do the, um, what are these called? Apples, the way she's telling me to do, because I reckon I know better. <laughs> anyway, yeah, so she's whining at me. She's told me to cook them all and I'm not cooking them all. I'm cooking three that I think needs to go into the ridge monkey. Anyway, shall, shall I show you what I'm doing? So I'm making an apple and pear pie with a little bit of, I don't know what it's called, some sort of nectar stuff and some cinnamon and a bit of sugar and stuff and just see what happens, isn't it? Because it's probably going to go wrong because I don't know anything about cooking. Fine. Right then. So we have indeed got a bit of sugar. Three dodgy looking apples that I think look a bit shit, but we'll see what happens. We've got some tinned pears, so I won't have to do anything with them. I can just bung them in the pie. This is what we've got. Algarve nectar. Some pastry. Some cinnamon. And a rich monkey. But I'm probably going to have to do a little bit of boilage of these because these, I don't know whether they'd be too hard if I just cook them in the rich monkey. So I'm going to try and mush them up somehow and see what happens. Right then, I guess the first thing I have to do is peel the potatoes. Potatoes? The apples. Hmm. See how this does. I'll just do it like I do with potatoes. I say these aren't the freshest of apples. So maybe this is a leftovers apple pie. <laughs> I think these are Lee's mum's potatoes. I don't know. Not potatoes, apples. Well, then I don't really know how to cut these up. But what I was thinking is if I just do a, a bottom, just so I don't get the core. That, and the edges off. And the edge up there. Maybe a little bit more. Same with this one. Hope you can see. Then I thought I'd just, you know, do them in slices, I guess. I'll do for one. That's probably fine. As you can see, I'm not a proper chef. So I haven't got any idea what I'm really doing. I reckon that'll be all right. Oh, I reckon that's all good. Right then, I've put the apples in a normal pan to start off with, because I'm a bit worried about these being hard in the pie. They probably wouldn't be, but I'm just gonna add a little bit of water Maybe a little bit more than that. So I am kind of doing what Lee told me to do. And I'll just get a little wooden spoon that's not wooden because we have plastic spoons these days, don't we? If I can find one. Get a little skingle. And what I'm also going to do is I'm just going to add a little bit of sugar. a little bit. That'll do for me, Tommy. Right, I'm just going to cook those through a tiny bit, maybe just for two, two or three minutes, maybe five minutes, I don't know, just to uh, try and soften them off a bit. Let's go over to the cooker bite. To be honest, I don't really think this step is necessary, but I thought I'd just do it to complicate things. So we'll see what happens. So I'll just cook these off and then I'll get back to you. I think I'm also gonna put a little sneaky bit of um, Algarve nectar in there as well. Right then, while they are cooking, or simmering or whatever they are, I need to put some of this pastry in here. Now hopefully this one's better than the last one we had. We, got, we had some same with pastry last time and it wouldn't blooming unwrap. Stupid thing. So let's see if this one does. Let's get rid of that over there. And it should. See, it's stuck to here again. Oh, it might be all right. Oh, it's not too bad. I think we'll be okay. I'm just going to turn it around this way. Oh, see? It's not as good as the cheap old Aldi pastry, let me tell you. 
It's almost like it's a little bit dry. Oh, see, it's all breaking on that end now. See, now I'm devastated. That's just bad. We'll glue that together. Anyway, now what we got to do, I'm actually going to turn it that way. Oh dear, it's really not great, this pastry. So don't buy any of this Sainsbury's pre-rolled um, stuff, it's crap. Oops, a daisy, I don't know what I'm doing now. It really is shit, let's just say. That's really shit. But ho-hum, we've got to use what we've got to use, haven't we? Diabolical. This has messed my... Um, I'll tell you what, I'm not even having it. I'm not having it. That's a load of old shit and I'm throwing it away. Bye. I think I need some beer after that little load of nonsense that just happened. So I've got some um, Aldi pastry out of the fridge. And I should just let that sit for five minutes before I start opening it and see what happens. Bye. Right then, let's see if the Aldi pastry is better. Well, straight away, look. It just unfolds properly, doesn't it? So I'm gonna flip that over, take it off there. Try and make it even in the pan. Move it over, that looks about right to me. Just pat it down. I have washed my hands, just in case you wondered. And hopefully now if I just pull this, see how much easier that was. This is Aldi pastry, and it's just one pound. No, so it's 95p, whereas I think the um, Sainsbury's one. How much was the Sainsbury's one, Lee? One pound fifty, the Sainsbury's one was. And what a load of old shit that is, as you've just seen. It just breaks apart, and this looks absolutely spot on. So the um, I stewed the apples for probably only 10 minutes, if that. And as you saw, a little bit of algarve nectar and stuff in there. So um, I shall stop the video for now. And I shall, um, oh no, I won't stop the video. I don't need to, do I? Because it's here. So I'm just gonna scoop a bit in, basically. And it really is gonna be as simple as this. Hope you can see, maybe I should um, do it from here. There's not a lot of room in a boat kitchen. So I've had to just kind of lodge the camera. I'm trying not to bring in too much of the water back in with this. Because Lee told me it'll just be mushy nonsense. That's the lady of the boat, by the way. If you didn't know, that looks all right to me. So that's the apples in. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a few pears. Well, actually I'm gonna do a few other things too. So that looks all right to start off with. Let's get the older uh, tin opener out. Good old tin pears, I say, look at that. So we're just gonna bung a couple of these in as well. I might have to cut them up, I don't know, probably not. Oh. I probably should have taken these out before and had a little looky-looky, because -looky, they probably could do with cutting a little bit, to be fair. But should we just bung them in? Maybe I'll just break them with my hands. I'll just be a heathen and just break them with my hands, that'd be all right, wouldn't it? Nothing wrong with that, is there? Put a couple of these in here. Oh. And one more, maybe. Oh. Try not to get the pit too wet. It's no good if it's too wet, you know. You have to have a little bit of um, resistance. And I think that looks about right. So that'll be enough pears. I shall drink that juice later. Just wash my hands again. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a bit more algarve nectar. It's just to help sweeten it up without putting too much sugar in, because obviously this isn't so bad for you. Because um, this is, well, I don't know what it is. It's some sort of plant extract actually. And I'm going to whack a little bit more sugar in. So again, I shall be um, conservative with it because I'm not supposed to have too much sugar. So I'll just probably put a couple of these in, a couple of little sprinkles. A 
that's fine with me. And now, just for a bit of added thingy, I'm not quite sure how to do this. I think it's probably best if I do it in my hand first, like this, and uh, put a little bit of cinnamon in there. I don't really ever know how much cinnamon to put in with things like this. Look, it's all over my hand now. It looks like I pooed myself. It's all too much. Wash my hands again. Bye. I'll tell you what. I'll just put it onto a spoon first. Oh, oh, bugger. You didn't see that. It's all right. Wiped on my trousers. You should just be able to do it. Like oh, no, that'll be fine, won't it? Look. That'll be fine. I'm not going to go stupid with it. I reckon that's probably enough. Okay, so now what we've got to do is we've got to fold this over and pinch it. So that looks about right. Now I'm just going to do it like you would a, a pasty. Well, I'm not. I'm just going to pack it in because I don't know how to do things like a pasty. Because you're supposed to twiddle your fingers and stuff, aren't you? Hopefully this will... Uh, just glue itself together, it'll be fine. This is a bloke pie. Am I allowed to say that anymore? Who knows? Well, that doesn't look too bad, does it? I reckon that's good enough. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put it on a very low heat. I'll put the pan back together. I'll try not to knock the camera over because one of the handles is kind of underneath the camera. This is always the hardest bit. Oh, I didn't do it too bad that time. There we go, we've got no bits hanging out. You don't want bits hanging out, do you? Now I'm just gonna put this on a low heat and I'm gonna do it probably for 10 minutes each side, keep turning it and see what happens. So I should do that now, bye. Now seriously, if you're trying one of these pies in a Ridge Monkey, you really do have to have it almost as low as the cooker will go. Now this ain't the best cooker, this is an, I mean, we've got an old cooker on this boat, but I reckon that looks about right. That'll be okay. And basically, I'm gonna start my timer and I'm gonna go for 10 minutes, turn it over and have a little look. See you in 10. It's only been going for three minutes, can you hear it crackling and spitting and stuff? There might be a bit too mo much moisture in there. So I'll have to be careful when I turn this one over because you flip this pan. And I'll probably just try and drain a little bit into the sink first, just in case. So it doesn't go all over kitchen, because then I will get a proper telling off. See, Hector's interested. He knows what's going on, boy. Right then, I'm actually going to give it a flip now, because I'm a bit worried that there's too much liquid in there. I'm just going to see if anything drains. No, I'll flip it over and see what happens then. Should have a little looky-looky. It's cooking. Look at that. Give it a little wiggle. It's a shame I can't get this cooker just slightly lower. Oh, I have managed to get it a bit lower. We'll see what happens. I'll give it another three or four minutes and see where we are. Well, I've done it for three and a half minutes on a lower heat, so I'm going to flip it over and see where we are with that. This is all guesswork, you know. i like to see what's going on. Ah, uh, see, now that's cooking slower, so that's better. So I'm going to flip it back onto that side and I'll leave it for another few minutes. These normally take about 20, 25 minutes, I think, to cook. And you saw how quick it was to actually um, prepare it. It was nothing, was it? Bye. Right then, while that's just cooking away, I thought I'd better just tell you, in case you haven't watched any of our videos before, the Ridge Monkey we're using is the uh, Compact Toaster XL. So it's not the standard one. But for the God's sake, I can't understand. Okay, so Ridge Monkey did the original one, which was enough to fit make a toasty basically so it'd fit one piece of bread and then they brought out the XL but have a guess what the XL isn't quite wide enough to fit two slices of bread so why couldn't they have just made it two inches wide even an inch wider you'd have been able to squeeze it in for half an hour so I don't understand why they didn't do that so and then there's a, a one that's called an XXL which is just too deep so come on Ridge Monkey Get one that's just two slices of bread. So you can get two slices of bread wide. That means this pastry would still fit in and it'd be fine. But also you'd actually be able to do two toasters at the same time. So when me and the missus want a toasty, because I do a lovely bacon and uh, bacon, onion and cheese toasty, I have to do them individually because I can't fit two in. 
It's just stupid. Why is it called extra large if you can't fit two in? Mm. Right then, we've done about another four minutes on that side. So let's have a little look. Oh, 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 look at that. That looks about right to me. So I'm going to leave it that way up now because I've sort of flipped it again and let the other side have um, another three or four minutes and we'll see where we get to. Right then, we've done enough I think on that side so we'll have a little look now shall we you know what I think that looks pretty much done don't you let's have a look another look on the other side yeah that looks good to me yeah so I reckon now that's it I'm turning the cooker off and we'll have a look in a bit oh turned it up off oh no did I I don't know it's off now bye right then let's get it out shall we I'm gonna, I'm over on the cooker at the moment. I'm just gonna take the lid off. So it's out of the way. So we've got this. Let's just hope it hasn't stuck to the pan. You know what I think I'm gonna do? I'm gonna just stick that on top of it like that. I'm gonna turn it over. <laughs> it came out, look at that. How cool am I? That is amazing. I think I'm a top chef now. So we're not going to eat it straight away. I'm not going to cut it straight. I'm going to let it sit maybe 10, 10 or 15 minutes. I don't really like hot pie, to be honest. I like cold pie with hot custard. But Lee likes cold custard with hot pie. So we'll see how we go. But that is definitely done. Shall I, shall I cut it just to have a little look? I reckon that's four portions, do you? Can't beat four portions, I say. Do I do it with this? Because we really need to have a look what's going on, don't we? Ooh. Can you see that? I don't know whether you can. I'm going to um, get the camera. Well, actually, I'm going to cut it the other way as well. So we've got our four portions. I'll just pick it back together a bit. Do the same here. See, these little tools you get with a ridge monkey as well are very good, you know. Let's have a little look, shall we? Can you see that? Well, that doesn't look bad, does it? That doesn't look bad at all. Nor does that. <laughs> Bye. You're going to do a taste test, aren't you? I am. Right, let's have a little looky-looky then. You've got to be honest. Yeah, right. <laughs> Where's the custard? <laughs> See, I know. See, she likes hot custard. No, she likes cold custard, hot pie. No, I like hot pie and hot custard as well. Oh. Oh. Yeah, it's very nice. It's very appley. <laughs> Can you taste the I think this is a bit of pear bit. sugar and stuff in it? Or did I not put enough in? Can you Ooh. taste the cinnamon? I've just got a bit of cinnamon. Mm. Very nice. Mm. So did I do okay? You did very well. Okay, then that's it then. Say bye. <laughs> bye. Can I have some custard with it though? No, you can do that yourself. Bloody hell, I've been slaving in a hot oven kitchen thingy. Don't do that. You can't believe it. I bought a, we bought a rich monkey and I've cooked everything since, bye. <laughs> and she still moans. <laughs> bye. Right then, well I've had a bit too now, so it's really quite nice to be fair, but what I would say is um, at, first, at the start I had the heat a little bit too high, so make sure if you're going to do this you have it on as low as, as you can. And then I would say do five minutes, turn it or flip it, another five minutes, flip it, another five minutes, flip it, another five minutes, sorted. So um, yeah, there's just like the corners where I'd folded it over. I don't think the pastry was 100% cooked. There was nothing wrong with it. It still tasted gorgeous, to be fair. But, yeah, I think uh, I made a little boo-boo. But, yeah, five, 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 sorted by.